Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is basically for those who are interested in studying medicine in Russia. You know, I've been here for the past six years and today I've decided to talk about the positive side or advantages of studying medicine in Russia. Of course, in the next video, I'll talk about the disadvantages. But first thing first, the positive side. Grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about it. I've highlighted the 10 most important points, we'll pick them one after the other and I'll tell you what they mean. Let's get started with the first. The first one is good organizational structure. The Russian education system dates back to the USSR. As you know, uh, the Soviet education used to be one of the best in the world back in the days. This structure is still retained by Russian universities in the sense that classes are starting the days they are designed to start. Your teachers are not missing the lessons. If your teacher is 20 minutes to the lesson, you, uh, you have the right to report to the management, in which case your teacher is going to be penalized. So everything is well controlled and regulated, and that's a positive factor. That brings us to the second one, which is access to good study material. Once you've paid your fees and you started a new session, you can go to your university library and get all the books for different subjects or courses you're doing for that semester. The university usually provides for this. And after the semester or after this course, you can return all these books back to the library. So you don't really need to carry a lot of books from your country when you come in. You know, I thought I was smart enough that I was doing the right thing when I was coming. I carried such heavy books like Atlas of Human Anatomy, Neta's Atlas, when I was coming, as heavy as it is, but it's a kind of mistake. Of course, if you're here and you have need to buy a specific book for yourself or you like a book so much, you can as well buy them. My unit tried so well in this aspect in the first, second and third year in my preclinical stages, I would go to the library and collect books and bring them down to my dormitory or where I live and after the semester I return all books to the library that's what we did but in the clinical classes we relied mostly on electronic resources that brings us to the next one which is world recognized degrees most Russian universities are first in the world directory of medical schools which is the first validity of your certificate I always advise people when you are choosing university anywhere in the world first of all log on to world directory of medical schools and type the name of your university and see that it is uh, recognized. So in Russia, most universities are in this website. Most universities uh, are recognized by World Health Organization. Furthermore, if you want to practice in countries like Germany, your degree is recognized. You only need to know the language uh, and getting into the German system will not be a problem. There are a couple of other countries like that where you can use your Russian medical degree to go and practice. In fact, some of my friends are pursuing going to Germany to practice and learning the language and it looks so interesting. The next one is relatively cheaper cost of education. Emphasis on the word relatively because what's cheap for you might actually be expensive for another person. Most Russian universities cost between $3,000 to about $10,000 as the case may be. The reason I say that is because the $3,000 is like 1.5 million in Nigerian currency. So I wouldn't say that is cheap. But the point is that when compared to United States, uh, most countries in Europe, the cost of education here in Russia is relatively cheaper. That brings us to the next one, which is affordable cost of living. The cost of living in Russia can vary according to the city. If you live in Moscow, the capital, the cost of living there is actually high and somewhere like St. Petersburg. But if you live in a small town in Russia, you don't really have a lot to worry about. For instance, my friend in the United States paid 500 US dollars for a room in an apartment with fellow students. Uh, but I live in a small town here in Russia. I pay $200 for a whole flood for myself. So you can see the difference when compared to other countries. But of course, living in a smaller city in Russia has its own downside, which I will talk about in the next video. The next one is cheap and high speed internet. We all know internet is very important in modern education. 
For example, I don't rely on my university resources. I use different resources on the internet, osmosis.org, Anatomy Zone, tons and tons of websites where I spend a lot of hours learning medicine. Again, the internet can help you for self-development. You want to learn anything or you even want to do business, the internet is the best place to do that. For example, my junior in med school, a good friend of mine from Ghana, spent hours learning the stock exchange market and trading and all of those things, and that helped him a lot. Now he is the CEO of uh, Serendipity Trade Academy. You can check him out on his YouTube channel or Instagram if you are interested in trading and uh, stuff like that. The good thing about that is that in Russia, internet is almost like free. When I lived in dormitory, I didn't have to pay anything for internet. Now I live in my own flat. I pay something around $6 per month for unlimited home Wi-Fi and that's a great advantage. That brings us to the next one which is opportunities to work while you are a student. If you're interested in having a part-time job as a student, the Russian government allows you to work with your student visa now legally. Before now it was prohibited to work with your student visa but things are changing and now uh, you can legally work with your student visa. But there's a lot behind that which i will make another video about but you might want to get started by watching this video i made about combining work and study and that will help a lot opportunities for research if you are interested in research russia is the place where you can walk up to your professor and indicate interest in working with him on research and they're always so kind to take you and put you through and you have some papers with your name on it. I didn't have a lot of time to combine so many things while in med school, but I worked on one article with a doctor and teacher in my university. And that was my experience of doing research. So if you're interested in research, you can always find opportunities here in Russia. The next one is exchange programs. If you are in a good Russian university, medical university, you have opportunity to go for exchange programs to different countries, but you have to pay for it. In fact, I was supposed to go to one country, but because of uh, the lockdown period, I couldn't take that opportunity because uh, it was difficult to travel at that moment. So if you're interested in exchange program, just know that you have to pay for it, but you have opportunity to visit different other countries. There are so many programs like the IFMSA, you can actually check out what it means and that will help you get around. The last but not the least is the Russian resident permit. So if you study in Russia, not just medicine in any other profession, and you happen to be an excellent student that you have a first class, uh, and you didn't have a three, you can watch that video where I discussed about the grading system in Russia. After your studies, uh, if you have the Russian red diploma, you can get the Russian resident permit without having to go to the temporary resident permit that give you the permanent Russian resident permit. So that's actually a positive factor because you can get that in all countries. I think that brings us to the end of this video. If you have further questions, put a comment down below. If you disagree with anyone, you can also comment down below. Or if you have any other thing you want to know about the positive side of studying in Russia, you can put it down below. And of course, don't forget to watch that video about the disadvantages, which I will put it over here. And I'll see you in the next one. I remain Emma Medic. Bye-bye.